Yo, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Nifon Tui. On this channel, I make sewing tutorials. I post new videos on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. Thank you for all your support. Thank you for watching my videos. If you are a beginner or if you are a person who's project on your skill, I offer online courses. I'll be showing a demo how to make a jumpsuit for you to watch so you can decide if it will be convenient for you to learn online. If you are interested, please send a telegram message to the number that you can see on the screen. Alright, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for supporting me, for liking my videos, sharing my videos and all the other good things that you guys do for me. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Well, enjoy this video first. Alright, you're welcome to today's video. In this video, we're going to be handling the rushed um, skirts that you've seen on the thumbnail and in the, um, in the scene. Uh, so to begin, you will need to know how to draft a pencil skirt. If you, if you don't know how to draft a pencil skirt, I have a video um, on how to cut different pencil skirt lengths. Okay, so just um, check for it. And if on to how to cut different types of pencil skirts, you should see um, the video. So if you don't have to cut a um, draft a skirt block, go and see that video first, as, as to help you understand what we're about to do here better. All right, so let's begin. Alright, so here I'm trying to draft my skirt block. So let me tell you what to do. Um, over here, I have this line that I have here is where my waist will sit. The line you ha I have here is where my hip would sit. Alright, over here, this is my waist divided by 4 I've placed here. My hip divided by 4 I've placed here. Now, um, when I'm connecting, if I was making, um, or if you've seen the video, if you know how, how I draft my skirts, I would connect my waist to my hip. And then somewhere around here, I would have my knee, alright, so that I come from my waist to my hip, taper in at the knee before going down. The skirt length is um, it's a 30, 31, so it's going to sit around her calf, so around over here, alright, so um, the skirt length is, um, would, would be 31, so normally I would taper in at the, at the knee area before going down. But what, when you're making this skirt, okay, you don't want the bottom part to be too tight on the body so that by the time you use the, the strings that you have on the side and pull them up, the skirt is not going to be very uncomfortable. So what you're going to do is this. You're going to connect your waist to your hip and then you will go straight down. Whatever you place at your hip, place it at your skirt length as well. Okay, so whatever you have here, here I have 10.5. Um, so down here, I'm going to place 10.5 at the end of my skirt and then I'll connect waist to hip down to that point. I hope that is clear before I start keeping all my um, all the allowance I would need on the side. So that's what you do. So you should have a pattern like this at the end of the day. Okay, you can see how straight here is. Now if you notice at the bottom here I've done I have written a plus six just so that you don't get confused. The length I'm looking for is 30 31 because the allowance that I'm going to add at the bottom that's 33. But from here to here is 28 so I need to increase the length of my fabric that's why I have this plus 6 here alright so now you see what we have over here um, this is my hip area in front of here is my zipper allowance but I've tapered it a bit at the top like like I like I showed in my um, pencil skirt video so I tapered it into that it sits flat on the waist but I did not taper it into the, bo um, the bottom the bottom the bone area so that it curves in okay I'm going to leave it like this straight down from the hip area straight down don't curve it in like I did in that video these are the only differences that we um, have between that and this so I'm going to put my fabric on the fold and I'm going to use this patterns individually to cut the front and the back all right so here you can see I have cut this pattern you can see here is the back all right you can see I cut the back into two pieces one for the left one for the right and what you can see underneath here is my lining that was cut identically to the fabric the only difference is the same here same here same here the only difference is that under here i made it shorter so that i can pull the fabric up i made it shorter by three inches down here in case you are wondering um and i did the same thing um to the um, the front the front of the skirt as well so you can see the lining covers everything except down here where it is shorter by three inches as well all right and i cut it on the fold but i did not divide the front here so you can see it's sealed both on the fabric and on the lining all right so the next step is we have to create some sort of slits on one side of the um, skirt so let me show you how to go about that 
All right, so what I have here is the front pattern, the front pattern that I drafted. So you pick up your front, we need to make some changes to this pattern so that we can use it to make the changes in front. Because the slits that you can see is in front of the skirt, it's not on the side. So how we are going to do this is, we are going to come, depending on how high you want it to be, just know that this is your hip area and the deeper you go, the more slits you have. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come from here for something that is you know a bit um, moderate. I'm going to come from here and I'm going to come down to six inches. Okay, I'm going to make a mark at six inches from the hip. Okay, and after I do that, I'm going to come away from the side by 1.5 inches and make another mark. Okay, then see this from this my line, the main line before, not my allowance line. From the, my main line, I'm going to mark 1.5 everywhere now. Alright, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come 2 inches. From here, I'm going to make a mark at 2 inches. And then, I'm going to mark 2 inches everywhere using this line now. Alright, so after that, we simply just make curves over here and over here because you don't want it to be straight you should have a curve at that point now i'm going to cut from here and cut out all right you can bring it down if you want you can take it up if you want but just know that from here it's going to be okay but you can bring it lower since you intend to um drag it up you see i brought it up a bit Okay, I brought it down a bit by like 1.5, but if you keep it at this place, it's okay for you, but I just feel like I might be a bit uncomfortable. That's why I made this last minute decision of bringing it down a bit. Alright, so now I'm going to place this. You can, put, you can cut it however you want. You can place it like this and cut. You can place it the other way and cut. Just decide on where you want your slits to be. But before I go to the machine, I'm going to iron interfacing on my fabric. So on the front and on the back, the fabric parts, I'm going to iron um, ST. Um, if you're in Nigeria, ST. If you're outside the country, look for um, woven fusible interfacing, lightweight woven fusible interfacing. And that's what I'm going to iron onto here. All right, so the first part we're going to work on is the back. So here we have both sides of the back. This is the easiest part of everything we're going to do. So, so let me just get it out of the way early. Um, so, I've made a notch here at 8 inches away from the top part. This notch I've made here is where I'm going to start my stitch from. Everything above will be used as my zipper allowance. So, I'm going to align it and I'm going to hold my zipper allowance from here all the way down. So, I kept as much as 2 inches. So, whatever you kept as the zipper allowance, at this point, stitch from there down. Alright, then do the same thing on the lining, okay? So the lining, I have also made a notch at the point here where I'm supposed to have my zipper allowance. So I'm going to come 2 inches still. I'm going to go 2 inches from here all the way to the end, okay? Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my darts, okay? So you can see this point that I notched at the top here. I'm going to hold my dart from the top part. This is how it is. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm going to hold my dart four inches down, half inch, and taper out to nothing. Alright, so after ironing, um, um, installing my, my darts, I have ironed my zipper allowance flat from here all the way down. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install my zip. So the way I'm going to install a zipper, just simply install your zipper the way you, you can always handle your zipper.
All right. So after you have you have um, installed your zipper on your fabric, you're going to bring your lining. All right, and you're going to stitch the waist together. So I'm going to stitch this waist together, and I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side of the waist. That's this part here. Make sure that when you are stitching, you leave a space of two inches before you start stitching towards the zipper. And on this other side, you're going to start stitching from the front of the zipper and you stop two inches before you get to the end here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch on the blue line. See this here? So we just join the line into the waist. I'm now going to stitch on my former thread from here all the way down to the end making sure that while I do that I'm holding my lining in place alright so now the next thing I'm going to do is at the bottom I'm going to twist my lining like so and I'm going to stitch them together but before I stitch of course I'm going to leave a space of 2 inches and I'll stop before I get to 2 inches at the end all right so next step is to give this good ironing and we're going to handle the front next so let me get the front all right so before we um, start handling the front of the skirts I want us to make the um, the ropes that would be used for the drawstring okay the rope that we used to drag the fabric to create that ruched effect now to um, what I have here is fabric okay now what i did was i cut this at three inches by 45 so i just used the length of the ankara which is 45 inches and i cut it with a width of three inches so what i wanted to do is i wanted to collapse it like so in two places and fold it again and i'm going to stitch on the edge from here straight down so that's what i'm doing now Alright, so now the next part we're going to handle is, of course, the front. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dart the waist part on both the fabric and the line. Alright, so after you have after you have held your darts, the next thing I want you to do is I want you to bring these two paths, you see this, and align them with where you have this opening, okay? Alright, so you keep one, then you keep the second one. Alright, and I'm going to stitch at the waist. laid flat so after you lay it flat like this okay I want you to keep a space of 1.5 inches away from where you have this curve here and I want you to keep your mid to um, <coughs> I want you to keep the, 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 the longest stitch on your machine so the losers and then loosen up your tension a bit so that your stitches are very loose because this stitch that we're about to make now, we'll need to loosen it later, um, later on. Uh, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch from here up with my loose stitch, my loose long stitches. So these are my longest. See this? You see how fast the machine is moving? That's called stitches are long. And don't back stitch when you start, so that it's easy for you to loosen. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to join the waist together. So now I'm going to join my waist together. I'm going to keep um, a space of 1.5 inches away from the edge before I start to stitch. And 1.5 by the time I get to before I get to the end. After you have done that, you are going to come to the bottom over here, and I want you to join the ends here together. So
now I'm going to turn everything I'm going to turn everything to the correct side and give this a really good press iron it properly all right so after you have ironed this see I made a little notch to show that this was this is where the fold stops after it is bent okay now what I'm going to do I'm going to turn over to this part here and I'm going to stitch around the curve by the time I get to the top where I have where I have my um, the two drawstrings I'm going to show you what to do So after I, when I was getting close to the top, as you can see here, I stopped and locked it at this point. So I'm going to skip here and I'm going to come in front and continue that stitch. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over to the front so that I can iron this part very, very well. All right, so you can see I have ironed everything out and I've pulled out the rope so what I want you to do is see what I'm doing I'm feeling for the space in between them because there's going to be a stitch here okay you're going to feel for the space in between them please make sure that this is really really precise okay and then I'm going to make another stitch just after where we have our rope And when you are done, you are going to loosen the loose stitch. Okay, so now I have loosened the two stitches that were holding the drawstring in place for me. And now, you see this, you can now draw it to wherever you want, okay? Alright, so what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to place the front and the back, join the fabric to the fabric and the lining to the lining, whatever allowance you kept. Then I'm going to join the other side. Now, the other side should be a lot easier because there will be more room to work with. Now the next step is to join the other side. That is here. So I'm going to basically do the same thing. I'm going to go from here. Now the next thing is to join our waist. So basically the same thing what we did before, lay it flat, spread the lining, spread the fabric, and stitch across. Now I'm going to turn everything out of this little space that I have. All right, so after you turn everything inside out, this space that you have here, once you seal it from here all the way down, then you are done. Just take it to the ironing table, give it a good press and iron it and you will see everything. Um, so let me stitch this. If you've watched this far into the video, thank you for watching. Do have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.